So today I want to talk about how to prevent arthritis from ending you up in a surgery. Well, quite commonly what I see with arthritis is there is one of these four symptoms that I'm going to talk about. Now, understand that not all the time that arthritis will bring on pain. Uh, you may not have any pain and symptoms with arthritis. And if you learn from any of your healthcare provider that you have arthritis in your back or arthritis anywhere in your hips or knees, that doesn't mean that you have to have pain. And so if you do have pain, make sure that you get it examined and evaluated by a healthcare professional like a physical therapist so you can pinpoint what is actually causing the pain if it's not arthritis. But what four commonly symptoms that I usually see with arthritis is one is pain, uh, popping and clicking, stiffness in range of motion, and swelling. Now, popping and clicking doesn't always have to mean that it is arthritis symptoms. It can always happen when the joint is not in the right position and it just kind of pops back into place when a muscle is trying to do a contraction. But uh, quite commonly, I see that if you have arthritis, then you may also have popping and grinding symptom. The way uh, you want to address that is you want to make sure that the muscles on above the level of the joint and below the level of the joint. So just in case of a back, the muscles in the back, that is, these are your extensors, the muscles in your extensors of the spine, and then the flexors, which are your core muscles, are both in a normal uh, tension and length relationship. And what I mean by that is they're strong enough and they're loose enough. That if you have imbalance in that, you will have a painful, uh, you will have popping or clicking. And the second thing is pain. Pain most commonly is coming not necessarily always from the joint, but it also comes from the capsule. Let's say this is the facet joint of your back. So it can come from the covering around the joint that holds the joint together. It can come from the nerve on the outside. It can come from the muscle on the outside. And so if you are developing any degenerative changes and are having pain, you wanna be able to find out is it actually coming from the joint itself or is it coming from surrounding structures? The way you address that is um, you have to first of all find out what the actual cause of the problem is and then you start to treat it according to either through joint mobilizations, either through uh, heat and ice, uh, either through exercises. The third point I want to mention is the swelling. Quite commonly arthritis is linked with swelling and that's I would say probably the first or the second symptom of arthritis and you will see that there is puffiness on the skin and the a layer underneath or that may be a swelling coming because of an irritation from the uh, disc herniation and um, arthritis can go all along with the disc herniation also uh, but arthritis then uh, itself from the joint can also give you swelling there are two ways that you can address that swelling one is uh, like an auto-regulated mechanism. Uh, think of a um, stick shift uh, or, or automatic uh, drive uh, for your car. And then uh, there's another way you can address is the manual, like the stick shift. So auto-regulation is by, once you address some um, swelling by using some ice pack, then you can do specific contractions of your muscles on the back that allows for the fluid to normalize and have that uh, movement flow back into the circulation and that can decrease swelling. The other way is the manual stick shift method. And the way stick shift uh, think uh, analogy works is uh, an external pressure. So like you would have to use maybe some form of compression uh, garment around or that you work on drainage like effleurage technique or drainage uh, for, your, for your back to help the swelling back into the circulation. And then the last and quite common symptom that I also notice is the stiffness in the range of motion. So like your spine will have difficulty and this is the side view, you're looking, about, looking at a spine from the side and, and quite commonly you will notice that there's stiffness with the bending and stiffness with extending as well as uh, stiffness with side bending and stiffness with the other side. So if you are noticing any stiffness, and again, uh, understand that not all stiffness is correlated with arthritis, but that's uh, one of the common symptoms with arthritis. And so out of the four symptoms, if you can address and self-manage those, ex uh, th those um, symptoms using uh, specific treatment methods, uh, you can easily uh, keep the spine from leading up to surgery. 
So if you have any questions, uh, please contact us and we'll be able to gu guide you through how you can prevent your surgery.